Susie Parker was a well-known actress and model who gained fame in the 1950s and 1960s. With her striking red hair and tall frame, she became a favorite among photographers and filmmakers. She was one of the first models to transition successfully into acting, appearing in films like Kiss Them For Me and The Best Of Everything. Her unique look and talent helped her stand out during a time when many actors and models conformed to a certain standard. Now we'd like to hear from you one. What do you think made Susie Parker stand out from her peers during her time? Two, can you recall a specific scene or movie of Susie Parker's that left a lasting impression on you? We're eager to read about your most treasured memory or personal experience related to Susie Parker. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Susie Parker to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this remarkable star. Susie Parker was a celebrated figure in the fashion and film industry during the 1950s and 1960s. She was one of the first models to transition successfully into acting. With her striking red hair, clear blue eyes, and elegant stature, she became a favorite subject for photographers and a sought-after face for magazines and advertisements. Her work with renowned photographers and her roles in films alongside major actors of the time left a lasting impression on both the fashion and film industries. Susie Parker's style and grace on camera helped to define the era's aesthetic and set a standard for models and actresses that followed. Susie Parker rose to fame not just as a talented actress, but also as a leading model, following in the footsteps of her older sister, Dorian Lee Parker. Her striking presence in front of the camera earned her the title of the most photographed woman during her peak years. Her personal life included marriage to Pierre de La Salle, with whom she had a daughter named Georgia. Later, she married Bradford Dillman, an actor, and together they had three children, a daughter, Dinah, and two sons, Charles and Christopher. Susie's life off screen was filled with the joys and challenges of raising a family while balancing a demanding career. Susie Parker faced a series of health challenges before her death, including issues with her breathing, multiple hip surgeries, and managing diabetes. Known for her striking presence, she often shared her honest opinions and had a unique, relaxed style when not in the public eye. She openly criticized habits like drinking and smoking and believed that marriage could extinguish the spark of romance. After leaving the spotlight of acting behind in the 1970s, she embraced domestic life, which was a stark contrast to the glamorous world she once inhabited. She found joy in simple activities such as baking bread and lived a life markedly different from her peers, avoiding the pitfalls that befell many in her field. Susie Parker, known for her work in modeling and acting, was related to Dean Dillman Jr. through marriage. Her influence in the fashion and film industry was significant enough to inspire Audrey Hepburn's character in the 1957 movie Funny Face, where Susie also made her first film appearance. In The Best of Everything, Susie portrayed Greg Adams, one of the three main characters alongside Hope Lange and Diane Baker. The film adaptation streamlined certain roles from the book, reducing the presence of characters like Mary Agnes and Martha Heyer, though they remained pivotal to the story's progression. Susie Parker, a top model earning $1,000 weekly, took a significant step in her career by dedicating three weeks to practice for a single line of dialogue in the television production Mayerling. Despite the brief screen time, her commitment was rewarded with $1,000 per word, reflecting the value placed on her participation. In an unexpected casting choice, she portrayed the mother of Colin Wilcox Paxton in the episode number 12 looks just like you, despite being nearly the same age as Paxton. Setting a precedent in the modeling industry, Parker was the first to earn over $100 hourly and a yearly income surpassing $100,000, marking a significant milestone for models during that era. Susie Parker stepped onto the big screen as a specialty dancer in the movie Funny Face, marking her debut in the film industry. After some time, she put her successful modeling career on hold to explore the world behind the camera as a photographer. Her journey into the spotlight began early when her sister, Dorian Lee Parker, introduced her to Eileen Ford at the age of 15, setting the stage for her future success. Susie Parker's journey in the spotlight began with a short-lived marriage to her high school love. Her career as a model reached unprecedented heights in 1956, setting a new standard by earning 100, then 200 per hour, and becoming the first in her field to make 100,000 annually, equivalent to 1 1 million today. 
Her rise to fame was further cemented when she featured in one of the earliest bikini photographs, marking a significant moment in fashion history. Susie Parker nearly starred in Claude Chabrol's film Web of Passion, but was replaced by Antonella Loaldi. Her striking presence earned her a brief role in Funny Face on Richard Avedon's recommendation. Her influence reached far, even inspiring the name of actress Parker Posey. Susie Parker's life took a romantic turn when she met Bradford Dillman on the set of Circle of Deception. Their meeting sparked a connection that would lead to marriage. Before her days in Hollywood, Parker's early life unfolded in Highland Park, New Jersey, where she attended school and grew up in a setting far removed from the glitz of the film industry. Her foray into cinema was marked by a memorable cameo in 1957, where Audrey Hepburn's admiration for Parker's effortless charm led to high praise, with Hepburn becoming an unexpected advocate for Parker's burgeoning film career. Susie Parker stepped onto the big screen as a specialty dancer in Funny Face, marking her first film appearance. Her role in the Think Pink sequence left a stylish mark and even inspired the character played by Audrey Hepburn. In The Best of Everything, she portrayed Greg Adams and worked through her pregnancy. Concerns arose due to the tight clothing required for her role, but both she and her child remained healthy. Beyond acting, Susie Parker was highly regarded by fashion designer Coco Chanel, and celebrated photographer Richard Avedon, both of whom admired her work and presence. Susie Parker's life took a dramatic turn on a summer day in 1958 when she was involved in a severe car accident that resulted in two broken arms and the tragic loss of her father. Beyond her personal challenges, Susie was also a family woman, taking on the role of stepmother to Pamela Dillman. Her influence extended far beyond her immediate family, as she is widely recognized as the first supermodel, paving the way for future generations in the fashion industry. Susie Parker, a model and actress, faced a tragic moment when her brother, Bradford Dillman, a promising actor, passed away. Despite her success, this personal loss deeply affected her. Known for her work in front of the camera, Susie's life behind the scenes was touched by this sorrow, reminding us that personal grief often contrasts with public personas.